Hey everyone, this is an exercise in fourth programming which looks at how to write portable fourth programs. So let me just show you what I've been up to before we get into things. So I will first run this on G4th. There we go. So this is the uh, Bitcoin block zero hash, block header hash. Um, which meets the requirements of having a bunch of zeros at the beginning. And this is running on a ThinkPad T470. And now I'll show you running the same thing on a Game Boy. Now, this is gonna take a couple of minutes. While that is running, I'll go through a couple things here very quickly. In order to make this code portable, all I've done is take um, kind of like a, I made kind of like a macro system. That's what these if this if then pairing is for. If the is if the fourth system I'm targeting is GB fourth, then it will include these lines and run them. These are just lines to print out this text that you see. Other than that, everything is completely unchanged. Every routine has not changed all the way through. The other ones you're seeing here, just because you need to specify, there we go. You can see here, it's the exact same as what was shown up here. And yeah, um, back to this quickly. This is just for showing RAM, or sorry, specifying that you want a, a lot to RAM. The same thing is for ROM. Let's see if we can find it here quickly. Right here, ROM. It's the Bitcoin blockhead, we write the ROM because we don't have any internet connectivity. Now, that's the end of the demo, really. I just wanted to show that you can write fourth code that practically runs on two completely different systems from different eras. Now, was this easy for me? No, because I'm new to fourth. I've only been doing it for about a month. I had heard about fourth before, wasn't that interested. It was difficult. Practically all the things that people normally think when they see, when they see fourth code. And then I looked into it closer. I really spent some time to try and wrap my head around it. And I read some more material around it and it really grew on me. And after the whole month, I could really feel my way of thinking changing and realizing things like uh, Polish notation and reverse Polish notation are really nice things. They're very, very nice. And fourth itself is kind of like Lisp with the main differentiator being uh, one is from academia and one's not. So I kind of see it as like a working man's Lisp. And like that's kind of the tip of the iceberg because it touches on so many ideological uh, niceties that uh, I'm, I'm hooked. So the fact that anyone can implement it is huge for me. It means there's tons of force out there and it turns out that your code will pretty much run on most of them with very little changes if you write it in, uh, in a certain way, of course. And anyone can understand uh, fourth code. Um, between four systems even within a day. I would say, like, obviously you're not going to be proficient, but you, you could become proficient in probably a week. Uh, and finally, the last thing that really I love is the fact that it's very close to the machine, uh, much closer than practically everything that's out there. To, to my mind anyway, most fours are implemented from assembly right off the bat to the point where people have written um, a bootstrapping fourth system directly uh, with like a hex and nothing more. And because fourth is so simple, uh, it's pretty easy to make a fast fourth. Usually the usage of, of registers or the stack is extremely efficient. And I'll end it there, keep the video short. 
I've had to redo this video like 20 times now. I'm trying to do it all in one take. I just wanted to say that fourth is very awesome. If you've seen it before, please try to give it a chance again. The community is very small. I kind of understand why. Uh, it's um, it's just something that has always never been a, at the forefront, but always there. And also, I think this will make fourth my new systems language. I used Zig before this, and before Zig I used Rust. So I, I don't have time in my life to have more than one, and fourth will be the one for now. Until I enjoy mine again. <laughs>